Hello and welcome back again to the P Birdman mod. So we've reached the moon flow and it's time to cross it now. Well, after a bit of preparation. Then shortly after that, before we get to the next town, um, is but after a certain other event is when we'll do the backtracking. And those who are familiar with the game know exactly what I'm talking about, but yeah. And probably exactly why as well. Anyone else selling stuff? What oh, gears he got? Nah, I'll pass. Oh, now that could be worth getting. I'm not too far off. I'm sure I've got something I don't need that can get me up. Hmm. I kind of do want to hold on to that. That's something I can afford to get rid of. Uh, still not quite there. Do I have any regular items I can flick? I don't need. Yeah. Where did I get a holy water from? Anyway, no, I'm it's either flick some gear or Yeah, flick some gear or go grind some enemies. I can probably part with that. I mean, I can probably part with that, like, once he's got a non elemental weapon, but I'd need one of those first, really. Okay, well, first of all, let's sort this. Oh, I can probably use Kamari's sphere level as well. Hmm. Very hesitant to sell elemental resistance. How much more do I need? Uh, I don't know, eight, nine hundred. Definitely not selling that. I suppose, like, I could sell some of the elemental weapon. You know, I reckon I'll sell the sleep strike weapon. It's a bit of a risk, but... I mean, I've got other ways to inflict sleep. And that's going to be more useful. That's pretty much my shopping done then. Okay, now... Oh right, I've got some sphere gridding I can do. Tetis can't. Kamari can, but he doesn't get much out of it. And Auron can move. Oh, an agility upgrade. Now that's a stat he needs more of. Which I think means he's not my slowest character anymore. Oh no, Lulu's had an upgrade as well. No one else has reached 16 yet. Um, now, yes.
That's pretty much all I can do. I'll say again after I think there's a cutscene here. Yeah, in fact I'm pretty sure I remember one. Actually, I don't think it's compulsory, but we've got to Ten see this. <laughs> ah, a history lesson? Jack saw his first shoe puff here. Surprised, he drew his blade and struck it. Wh why He was drunk. Thought it was a fiend. Oh, brother. We offered all the money we had as an apology. Jekt never drank again. But it would seem that shoe puff still works here. <laughs> Rides the shoe puff? Shoop. Oh, the options are back to front Ride. from expected. All aboard! City. A Machina city, a thousand years old. They built the city on top of bridges across a river. But the weight of the city caused the bridges to collapse, and it all sank to the bottom. Right, it's a good lesson. A lesson? Yeah. Why build a city over a river, yeah? Uh, well, it would be convenient with all that water there. No, that's not why. They just wanted to prove they could defy the laws of nature. Hmm? I'm not so sure about that. Yevon has taught us. When humans have power, they seek to use it. If you don't stop them, they go too far, yeah? Yeah, but don't you use Machina too? Like the stadium and stuff, right? Yevon, it decides which Machina we may use and which we may not. So what kind of Machina may we not use, then? Remember Operation Meehan? That kind. Or war will rage again. War? More than a thousand years ago, mankind waged war using Machina to kill. They kept building more and more powerful machina. They made weapons so powerful, it was thought they could destroy the entire world. The people feared that Spira would be destroyed. But the war did not stop. Wh what happened then? Sin came, and it destroyed the cities and their machina. The war ended, and our reward was sin. So, sin's our punishment for letting things get out of hand, eh? Man, that's rough. Yeah, it is. But it's not like the Machina are bad. Only as bad as their users. It's because of people like the Albed screwing everything up. <laughs> what could that be? Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The 
<laughs> yeah, speaking of them. <laughs> I believe is the only actual spoken underwater line of dialogue in the entire game. <laughs> So this thing's quite tough even in a regular game, so... Okay, so it's still vulnerable to slow, that's nice. I'm going to assume none of those will work on it. I'm also going to assume aim is unnecessary. Which means what's left over is donk it. <laughs> Silence, but silence stops me from using cheer. I mean, I guess taken literally that makes sense, but that seems like a very odd decision gameplay wise. Um, but okay, anyway. Wait, is he still gonna. Nah, it's not really gonna matter. Do I have any more regular potions? No. I don't really want to bust out an X potion or high potion at this point. I think Aqua Shooter might be magical, but. Or maybe not. Okay, and now it is appropriate to use a high potion. Okay, it's two cheers. I need to slow that thing again. Okay, well I didn't manage to bring it down before this. Let's hope this isn't too bad. Ooh, darkness is annoying. Back down. Have I done two or three chairs so far? No, it was two. And a silence on him is not a problem.
I want to get slow on this thing. I know it can be done because I inflicted it before, so... Critical hits are nice as well. both darkness or is Titus just no only Waka is darkness okay, well he can throw a potion then well Titus goes for another attack awesome bring it down but the real goal is to inflict slow on it again At this rate, I'll probably end up killing it before I inflict slow on it again. enough damage to bring it down. Yep. No depth charges this time. That also means definitely no slow, so that can inflict sleep. <laughs> okay, that's nasty. I think I slowed it. Yes, awesome. All right, let's get Donking. Yeah, I don't think I need to bother with more cheers. This thing should go down soon enough. Oh, wasn't quite enough. Okay, it's getting stronger. Oh, okay, I mean the thing did say it gets stronger when it goes up. I didn't realize it's literally in, like cumulatively gets stronger each time. That should bring it back down. Okay, so this thing's a little bit tougher than it initially seemed. Alright. Oh, 
Yeah, that whole gimmick of silence preventing you from using cheer, like, I get the real world idea behind it, but it's dumb as a game mechanic. <laughs> At this point I need to just go all out on this thing. Because I'm not going to be coming back from it if it hits me with another depth charges. I mean, I don't know, maybe, but... Wait, in the original game you could bring it down by provoking it. I wonder if this still works. It does... the trade-off is that its aqua shooter gets more powerful though, I think. Okay, it's getting increased by that much is new. <laughs> Especially when you consider that's like through protection. Yeah, all I can do at this point is keep donking it and hope it goes down. Oh, I can haste himself again. Oh, I did not realise that that thing had another aqua shooter to go. But that's alright, that's actually a good thing. Okay, so I'm at the throw everything I've got left at it phase. Here on out it is Donkage. I'm not gonna bother restoring. Uh, maybe I should bother restoring his MP. Well, buy me one or two extra turns at least. It's not like ethers are hard to come by. I mean, the alternative is that if I don't kill it, it's game over, so may as well go with that. the real strategy here is like try and survive until someone can throw an overdrive at it.
I might be able to bring it down. Um, at any rate, I don't need to use an ether, so I can at least be dealing some damage. Oh, okay. I only get the one turn. Uh, what do I want to do? Walker gets a turn afterwards, but I can't recover from that situation. No, I've got to bring it back down, I guess. Oops, that's not good. I suppose the other thing to pay attention to next time around is it actually weak against lightning because there's been a lot of like those kind of hard gotcha it's elements are all messed up for no reason things and the damage they were dealing did seem somewhat low so well obviously he starts with stunning steel so I'll just compare to that Um, I did save after buying the Fatal Kate Sith, right? Yep, rides the shoe path. So yeah, I think apart from the elemental thing, I think the other key thing to do is like, get cheers up at, right at the start. I wonder if it's worth getting aims up as well, because then like I don't have to worry about darkness so much. Hey. Huh? Take a look. What? What? A sunken they built a city on top of brick. But the weight of the city. Right, it's a good. A lesson? Yeah. Why build? The. Uh, no. They just wanted. Hmm? Yeah, but. When you. If you don't stop. Yeah, but. Like the stick. Yeah, the. Witch market. So what? Remember. Or. Yeah, another case of this game putting long unskippable cutscenes before bosses. The people. But the war did not stop. Well, Sin came. The war. In. So. Man. Yeah. But it's. Only. It's because of people. Watch your touch! Sit down. Sorry! Ah! The outbed! Okay, so the damage is about the same as with a lightning weapon. So he's not resistant to it, but he's not weak against it anymore either. With that in mind, yes, I do have a better weapon for Waka to be using. And of course that also means Titus can just keep the Stunning Steel equipped, so that does actually make things a little bit easier in that regard.
I think at this point I just take the debt charges. Oh, does that get him? Well, I'm obviously going to use that then. More chance of doing enough damage, although I think it's very unlikely. Like a critical hit, I could have brought him down, but that wasn't really likely to happen. Bring him down. So I need two more cheers. And then it's time to go on the donk offensive. And yes, you're being very helpful by targeting Rocco all the time. Please continue this. Okay, one more after this. Oh, it's that time already? That's not very nice. That's the safest option because I don't know how powerful it is at this point. Does defend reduce it? I'm actually not sure offend. Let's see. Okay, so there's the answer. No, it doesn't. not getting another turn either way. This is annoying. He hastes himself, then he will be getting another turn whatever happens after the next sack for shooter. Yeah, is it just me? Is that thing faster, this battle? <laughs> There's probably some small quirk of timing I got by inflicting slow on it or something, I don't know. I'm not a, too familiar with the specifics of how the CTB works. Ah, they're both on exactly the same HP. Oh, and yay, Tetis isn't slowed anymore. Okay. Here's where the real donkage starts. Oh, and it slowed. Awesome.
and Titus isn't hasted anymore. That's okay. So some luck I'll slow it again before it's next turn. Although I don't think it's critical that I do. Maybe let's be prepared just in case. I'll just recover Tidus. And I'll take my chance beyond that. Actually, no, I see a better approach here. Especially with Waka not getting a turn. I mean, Tidus not getting one. Okay, I was expecting a lot more from that. Titus to haste himself. So a bit more chance to get ahead of it. Oh, never mind. Yep, it counts Yuna as having participated in that battle just because, like, her character model's on screen. I assume that, like, on a technical level it puts her in the battles and, like, gives her no turns. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Ah, those out bed. Ish, everybody okay? I'm sorry. We're all okay now. Yuna. Uh. Shoot a full speed ahead. Damn the outlet. What do they want from us? Could I have something to do with Luca? What do they have the Yuna for? Wait. They're mad they lost the tournament. Oh, wait! They're mad about Operation Meehan! I wonder... Didn't Kamari's clansmen say something? About summoners disappearing? Ah, so the Albeda behind that? Those sand plastic grease monkeys! <laughs> sand blasted grease monkeys. <laughs> hey, Waka! It's no use complaining about the owl bed now, right? We'll protect Yuna from anyone, anywhere. It's that easy. That's all I need to know. Well, I guess so. You're right. And we have arrived on the other side. Um, 
I'll save and yeah, let's go and view the cutscene. Oh, replacement ether, that might come in handy. so good what happened you beat me up remember huh oh that machina that was you mm -hmm. oh that really hurt you know you big meanie <sighs> w w wait but you attacked us nuh-uh it's not exactly what you think. Yo! Friend of yours. Uh, and you could say that. Pleased to meet ya. I'm Riku. Yuna, Lulu, I told you about her, remember? She was the one who helped me before I was washed up on Besaid. She's an Albed. <laughs> 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 Wow, so you like all your life. What luck meeting here, huh? Praise be to Yevon. So, uh, Riku, you look a little beat up. You okay? Uh, Waka. Huh? What? There's something we need to discuss. Oh, go ahead. Girls only. Boys, please wait over there. Right. Sorry, Waka. Huh? What? Not too sure how they communicated that to her, but okay. <laughs> Must be like secret girl mind link abilities or something, I don't know. <laughs> Sir Oren? I would like Riku to be my guardian. Clearly she doesn't know what just happened. <laughs> Show me your face. Huh? Look at me. Oh, okay. Open your eyes. As I thought. Um, no good? Are you certain? A hundred percent. So, anyway... Can I... If Yuna wishes it. Yes, I do. <laughs> Riku's a good girl. She helped me a bunch. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm for it. The more the merrier. Right oh. Then I'll just have to be the merriest. It was strange. Even though Waka had always hated the Albed. Riku your service. He never realized Riku was one of them. Okay, uh, now we'll do the tutorial battle first. But yes, Riku has officially joined, which means we now have all seven party members. She 
She has auto life for some reason. Okay. I wonder what's inside. What the hell? You should know, I'm scary when I get mad. I'm gonna use that item I just got on you. You'll be sorry. Okay, so in the original it forces you to use her overdrive there, but you can use any items you want and keep the bomb cores. It seems they've decided, to, well P. Birdman's decided to adjust it a bit. So I think that was very much a show off what he can do thing, but okay that was amusing, I'll give him that. And ultimately, it's not harmful in any way, it's just about <laughs> what the fuck, so... I still don't have ability spheres, that's right, I was gonna go back. Not only for that, but partly for that. Uh, anyway, my front line, I want... This now, because Riku is very fast. 16 agility, same as Tidus is currently at. So yeah, for now I'm just going to backtrack as far as the save point and that'll be it for this video. And then yeah, we'll do the actual backtracking and what we need to go back for in the next one. Right, so thanks for watching, hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.